<laughs> I know I haven't vlogged in the last like week or so. Um, I don't really have an excuse. I don't think I should have an excuse for not posting any videos. But you can't really see it now too much. But the other day I fell over, I slipped, and I banged my hand. Can't really see it too well. See that mark there? See that slip mark? Yeah, that's where I slipped. I was getting the scraper out from my window, went like that, foot went straight away, you can't really see much. Man, I banged my arm up, that kills. Uh, man, I hurt my hand so much. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. There's the skid mark, and I like my. My hand cracked the curb. Am I stinking as well? Yeah. And then the whole supermoon thing happened, which was pretty cool actually. I got some really good footage of it up close. I took some photos, I took some video. Let's just let's just go. Where? Oh, that's bright. Oh. What's what percentage of helping on this, this off? Uh... Oh yeah, there it is. Get a little digital zoom. Put it on manual. Manual focus. There it is. What's this called? What's it called? Yeah. This moon? The super moon. Here's the super moon. Oh god. It's the super moon. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There it is. That's probably the closest I'll get. It's probably the best picture I'll get. Whoa. And this is how much I'm zoomed in. <laughs> All the way. And then I had a little ramble about my iPhone and my iPad case. Again, I explained that in a clip for the vlog, but obviously I didn't post that vlog for that day. So I'll just let the clip explain it for you. Forget my Beatles here. I need a haircut. I know. I've had a problem the last few days, as you know. I got an iPhone 7. And also, the week before, I got an iPad. And I got cases for them. Obviously, you'd be silly to buy. Uh, you'd be silly to buy. Am I on? The one problem though, got a Griffin case, yeah? Look at this. This case as well, this um, iPad, let me show you properly first, look. See this? See those bubbles? As you can see, same problem on my iPhone as well, look. Let's turn it, let's turn it off first, look. You can even hear it. Look. Look how big these bubbles are, and again, it's another Griffin product that I'm sending back tomorrow because I'm sending them both back, both cases, because that air pocket thing, I'm taking the screen protector off as well. I literally installed this earlier. If you want to know what temper glass looks like when you break it, probably a, a, that was an extreme waste. And this is what it's like with all Griffin products. My brother's got an iPhone as well. Same thing applies with him. But again, look. Around the Touch ID, bubbles. Bubbles. You can, you can even hear it. You don't even need to look. For the touch screen, you just don't want that to be there. You don't want 
that gap of air between the screen and the screen protector like look at that man look that's just silly so both protectors are going back tomorrow look griffin survivor case griffin survivor case both of them get them returned tomorrow which I've now solved that problem because pretty much every I don't want bread every uh, Griffin product I've had has been a fail the bubble under the screen was a nightmare so I thought the only way to get away from these bad Griffin products is to get an Otterbox and go completely away from Griffin no bubbles under the screen. It's like, it's perfect. It's like just touching the screen. There's no dead spots, nothing. Perfectly uh, working screen protector. I also got an Otterbox iPad protector, which is completely different to the Griffin one. As you can see, it's got a back shell here, which is just made out of rubber. But it's also got this like hard plastic front, which obviously protects the screen because I'm carrying them in my bag everywhere with me comes in this case, the front turns into a stand that you can actually lay your iPad on in loads of different ways, this way or, or that way. Another case with no dead spots on the screen. The screen protector sticks to the screen. So if any of you got an iPad or an iPhone or any eye product, just go with Autobox. And the only thing, the only problem is, can you see right up here where the speaker is and the front facing camera and in the speakers at the bottom, there's no like mesh to stop like sand and dirt and dust getting in. So over time, I'm pretty sure the dust will end up making its way underneath the screen protector there and up into the speakers at the bottom, which is probably gonna be a bit of a problem. But I've got new cases. I sent back my old Griffin ones, and I also just received an electric toothbrush. So, random, I know. Uh, this vlog is a bit crazy. I had stuff on my memory card that I needed to get rid of because I recorded it with the intention of uploading it, but I never. So, that was kind of like a little mash of the footage that's been on my camera for like a week now. I'll try and get back to vlogging soon, but I'm in that position where it's like if my day isn't entertaining or if I can't put a full vlog together, if I'm only, only recording like one or two clips in a day, I just kind of don't vlog. So I'll try over the next week or two um, to really put a few vlogs together and, and, and put some entertaining videos together. So yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's me done for today. I might actually go out tonight. Maybe you'll have a vlog tomorrow. Mmm.